If you take an up close look at this house at the corner of West 5th and Columbia, you're going to notice something unusual. It's not completely attached to the ground. That's because just a few days ago, this house wasn't here. It was actually just a few blocks away. Over here. So the owners are very attached to it. They wanted to keep the house and we, we found a way, we navigated through the maze of regulations with the city. Um, heritage retention was kind of the key. It was uh, like a win-win. We love the house and we wanted, so we were super happy that she came up with that plan. And then the city approved it, which was nice um because that doesn't always happen the house named the law heat house was built in 1909 and over more than a century has endured in vancouver's mount pleasant neighborhood and it turns out this isn't the first time this house sat at this property it's actually being moved back as a part of a new development a big task requiring some special expertise and teamwork to get it out of that city-owned lot they organize all of this with city of vancouver engineering department so they they move aside all those hydro lines and, and traffic control elements that hang over streets and move the house in the middle of the night. Now that the house is back home, the plan to reattach it to the newly rebuilt property with the house and tower connected below street level. We've done some really cool things with the design on the inside too, to be have it be a really nice juxtaposition of old versus new. From a heritage perspective, we're excited. Alyssa Myshock with the Mount Pleasant Heritage Group calls the neighborhood Vancouver's first suburb and says it was once a thriving predominantly Japanese community. We're quite a large contingent of Japanese that did move into the area um, partly for fishing but partly because of the sawmills. But in 1942 the neighborhood would change forever as Japanese Canadians found themselves in wartime being sent to internment camps their property seized. There is a group of people who helped to build Vancouver and um, we don't give them enough credit. Following the war, Myshock says a series of building booms through the 60s transformed the former suburb into the industrial park we know it to be today. When asked if we need to start thinking about preserving some of the iconic architectural pieces from that era, she says, Yes. Yes. In the meantime, it looks like this 100 plus year old piece has survived the journey to be part of the neighborhood for a long time to come. Uh, it looks good, looks fine. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.